Hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Desi Astro, PhD interview series. Myself, G.O.T. Prakash. I am currently a second year PhD student at Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, Pune. Started working in field of galaxies evolution and dynamics. I would like to share my IOCA PhD interview experience with you, which might be helpful for other students, who are futuristic to join Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, PhD program. IOCAD is very good research institute where cutting edge research is going with state of art technologies and facilities to do astronomical research and instrumentation too. My interview was on 16 of September Viaduct online Zoom meeting. An interview who was supposed to happen in two rounds. Each round was expected to be around 45 minutes to an hour. In my interview panel there four professors. Professor Somak Rajachadhuri, Professor Durgesh Tripathi, Professor Dabharati Chaturji, and Professor Sri Ram Kumar from IIT Madras. When I joined my interview panel they asked me to introduce myself. Then inquired about JRF rank. Some query like why you want to do PhD in astronomy and astrophysics. Tells us briefly about your MSc and other projects if you have done. So basically I had done three projects during my MSc and after that so my first project was in TIFR VSRP in which I worked on it exoplanet data analysis. And my second project was my MSc project in which I worked on black holes shadow. And my third project was in Aries Nanital, where I worked ion variable stars. So see guys. Your projects may be helpful to get PhD in such places if you have previous experience in astronomy and astrophysics. But I generally that that don't require. If you have then it's okay and if you don't have then it's also okay. So if you have done a project then be ready with your projects and they must ask questions from research projects during the interview. And this becomes also very crucial because they want to know that have you learned from your project. After I have stopped explaining my projects suddenly started bombarding questions on me from my related projects. They asked questions from my Aries Nanital research project and the questions were followings. What are Cepheids or variable star? Define apparent magnitude M and absolute magnitude M. Write down relation between M and M. How to calculate distance to a galaxy using Cepheids. What is reddening? What is disadvantage of it? After that they came to my MSC JNU project and now the questions were following. What is black hole shadow? What is shape of shadow of non-rotating and rotating black holes? Right metric of Schwarzschild black hole? After that they came to my TIFR project and now the questions were following. What are exoplanets? What are some techniques involved in detecting exoplanets? Explain radial velocity method. How to find mass of exoplanet star from real data in your project. Now they ask me about subjects that interest me. I told them that I like classical mechanics, quantum mechanics, electromagnetic theory. This time they asked my question from quantum mechanics. Question was asked by Professor Somak Rajachadhuri. What is black body? Sketch profile of black body. Draw curve of black body for temperature. T1 greater than T2. Mark the peaks in plot. What function describe behavior of black body curve? Write its functional form in terms of frequency upsilon. How do you conversion from frequency upsilon to lambda wavelength functional form? What will profile of curve at very low wavelength limit? Give expression. What will profile of curve at very high wavelength limit? Give expression. How will you obtain the peak intensity condition from black body curve? Show the relation B slash W temperature and wavelength. Give an example of black body. How to measure surface temperature of stars. Now they moved to classical mechanics part. This time they asked Ma question from classical mechanics. Question was asked by Professor Professor Sri Ramkumar. 
For a particle of mass m equals 1 moving in potential given potential v, x, equals a carat 2 carat 4. Draw shape of potential well. Right Lagrangian for this potential? How do you convert into Hamiltonian? Obtain EQ of motion. Is there any conserved quantity? Is energy of particle conserved? How? Now they moved to optics A and S turiloscope part. Question was asked by Professor Dabaradi Chaturji. The question are followings. What is magnifying glass? What are the types of telescope depending upon construction? Draw ray diagram of Cassegrain reflector reflecting telescope, for star at infinity. Draw ray diagram of refractor telescope for star at infinity. In above, what will be nature of images formed? This was the end of my interview. In conclusion, the interview was a very pleasant experience for me too. Professors were quite helpful during the interview. I felt like, I am doing discussion with them. And they are quite happy with my style to tackle questions. I hope it has helped you to gain some insight into the question asked in PhD interviews and how to prepare for that. Good luck, if you are planning for any such interview. Some of the things you can keep in mind while giving interviews are. First. Don't give bluff answers to any questions. Second. If you don't know the answer to any question just say. Sir I don't know. You may ask the next question. Sometimes they ask very difficult questions just to check you how you're proceeding on that questions they don't want you at answer exactly. Thanks and good luck for your future endeavor. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Desi Astro. And please press the bell icon to get instant notification. Which also teaches you basic of Python programming. And stay tuned for more interview experiences from my friend also. Thank you again.